What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Roblox. This game actually ranks in the top 10 most played games on Xbox. It is really popular with the kids. It is actually a free game, and it offers a free 1,000 gamer score. It has 11 achievements total, and overall, I'd say it's going to take about 2 hours. However, in the long run, it's going to take about 20 days just logging in and out of the game. Now to play Roblox, you do have to sign up for an account. So make sure that you sign up for a free account when you go ahead and boot up the game. Other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at the achievements. So your first achievement is to play a Roblox game, then to play five Roblox games and then 15 Roblox games. We also get an achievement for playing a Roblox game for one hour. We get an achievement for changing the look of our character. We get an achievement for a three day streak, 10 day streak, 20 day streak and then we have an achievement related to playing with a party and then an achievement related to playing with three online friends. So first thing we're going to do is press A on our character that's going to take us to the avatar tab. You want to go to the catalog at the bottom and you want to choose one of the free skins. After we apply one of these free skins to our Roblox character we're going to unlock our first achievement. That's going to be the one name many faces achievement for 50 gamer score. So now that we got that easy achievement knocked out of the way, next we're going to go to the catalog and we're just going to start up any Roblox game. We do get an achievement for playing our first Roblox game. We're going to have a bunch of games recommended in the featured section. We can just go ahead and play one of those. Now all we have to do is start up the game and then you can press start and we can quit out of the game. You do not need to play it for a certain amount of time or accomplish any objectives or anything like that. Simply start it up and quit it out. Now if the achievement doesn't pop, you can go ahead and force quit your game. And we can just go ahead and restart it and that should make the achievement pop. For me, the achievement didn't pop right away. It didn't pop till I restarted the game. So if you're having any issues with the achievements, just know that the achievements in this game are really glitchy. I also had some achievements that I got the notification on my phone. That I unlocked them however the achievement notification didn't pop up on my TV with the Xbox itself. Now overall we have three achievements related to playing Roblox games. We have the first achievement that we already got for playing our first one. We also get one for playing five Roblox games and then 15 Roblox games. But after you've played at least five we can go ahead and start reviewing them. So go to your recently played games, click on each game, and then you want to go up and hover over the thumbs up. After you've pressed that, we have reviewed the game. We do get an achievement for rating five games total. So after you have reviewed or rated your fifth, your achievement should pop for Polster for 50 gamer score. After you have your achievement for rating five games, we can go ahead and continue to play the other 10 games. Once we have played 15 games, we are going to unlock the Trailblazer achievement for 200 gamer score. So that's 260 gamer score we get guys just for playing 15 Roblox games. Now that's some super quick gamer score. Overall, we're going to be able to get about 500 gamer score in the first hour or so. So let's go ahead and check out where we're at right now. As of right now, we have 360 out of 1000. We only need six achievements left. We got the achievements related to playing 15 Roblox games. We got the one for rating five games and let's check out what we have locked. So play a Roblox game for one hour, play Roblox three days in a row, 10 days in a row, and then 20 days in a row. Join an Xbox party and play Roblox, play a Roblox game with three of your friends. So we're going to work on those two achievements right there, guys. I'm going to show you guys how to get one of them without boosting. And then I'm going to show you guys how to boost the next one. So we're going to go ahead and start up with a secondary profile. Make sure that you use another profile on your Xbox. Doesn't matter what it is. I have like a dummy Chivo Guides profile. So I went ahead and started Roblox up with my dummy profile. You're going to have to sign up for a Roblox uh, account with that profile. But all you want to do is start up any Roblox game with your second profile. Once that second game has started, what we need to do is pop up the guide menu and we need to invite our main profile, the one we want the achievement with, to a party. So I'm going to start off with pressing the Xbox guide button. We want to go to switch profile, switch to your main profile, and then you want to find your dummy account. Hopefully you have them added as a friend from your main account and we want to invite them to a party. So now you are in a party 
with your main account and your dummy account. After you have uh, joined a party with both of your accounts, what we want to do is force close the game while your dummy account is in the active Roblox game. So right now, my Chivo Guides dummy account is playing Roblox. I'm going to force quit it. We're still in a party, keep in mind. I'm going to start up the game, but this time I'm going to start it up with my main profile, my regular Chivo Guides profile. So what the game is going to think is that both profiles are playing Roblox actively at the same time while in a party. This is going to trigger the achievement unlock. You should unlock it right when you start up Roblox. It should pop up during the main menu. If it doesn't pop, just try starting up uh, one of the Roblox games and it should pop up. But mine popped up in the main menu. That's strength in numbers, 445 gamer score for joining an Xbox party and playing Roblox. Okay, so next I want to talk about boosting the Forge Company achievement. This one is for 45 gamer score. So from what I've heard, the best level to boost this on is the Mount of Gods Roblox game. So first thing you want to do is get into a party with four of your friends. Shouts out to A.H. Housie, Savvy Boy, and that one cool dude for helping me boost this achievement. I also want to use this video as a center for boosting this achievement. So if you're someone that needs to boost this achievement, make sure that you leave your gamer tag in the comments and I'm sure you can find someone to help you out. Now, the way it worked for me was pretty simple. I got in the party with four people. Make sure that you add them as friends. That's really one of the key points in this achievement. You need to make sure that you add them as a friend. Once you are added as a friend, you're in a party. You can go ahead and start up Mount of Gods. That is going to trigger the achievement for 45 gamer score. Now, it doesn't typically pop for all four people. In my experience, it actually only popped for me. So what you may need to do is start up the game again and have somebody else join the game first. If for some reason you're not unlocking it on the Mount of Gods level, try loading up the Natural Disaster Survival level. Two out of the four of us didn't unlock it on Mount of Gods. We loaded up the Natural Disaster Survival level, and the other two people in my boosting crew unlocked it. So those are going to be the two levels that I recommend for the Forge Company achievement in regards to boosting. If that doesn't work, then have the person that's trying to unlock the achievement go into the Natural Disaster level first, and then send an invite to the rest of the party. That also appears to trigger it if you're having some trouble. After that, you can go ahead and stay in this natural disaster level for one hour. We do get an achievement for playing a Roblox game for one hour, so might as well knock that out. Just go ahead and stay in the level and just let your controller chill there. Try to get some other stuff done. Come back and you should have that achievement. That is the marathon achievement for 50 gamer score. Besides that, if you've done everything instructed in this video, we should only have three achievements left. Those are all related to the playing streaks we get an achievement for playing Roblox for three days in a row, that's 100 gamer score. We get an achievement for playing 10 days in a row, that is 200 gamer score. And then finally, we get an achievement for playing 20 days in a row for another 200 gamer score. So right now, we only have 500 out of 1,000. That last 500 is going to come along with the playing streak. I recommend setting an alarm on your calendar every day just to make sure that you log in. Once you log in, make sure that you force close the application. You know, just in case you aren't playing your Xbox for a day, it isn't accidentally resuming your last play because from what I've heard, that doesn't count. So make sure that you force close your Roblox after every time you log in. After you've played for 20 days in a row, then you will have your full 1000 gamer score in Roblox for free. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.